Hey folks, Valentin the Mad here, and today we'll be having a quick look at Voxel Doom mod. Not a gore mod in the regular definition, but it is a factor. So, what the mod does is voxelize every single sprite the game has to deliver 3D characters and props in a way that feels true to the style. And for the most part, you get just that. Occasionally you lose the limitations of it, a little more so on certain characters, but generally it is crazy cool. Playing a game you are very well familiar with in a new sort of perspective. Now, for our subject, it doesn't disappoint. What was a body sprite is now a voxel character with bits of him carved out, parts painted in blood, and it really is cool. I really like those for the Kaku Demon. Pinky and the Baron falling in an awkward position. Now, as I mentioned, he voxelized every single sprite, and that includes the death animations. So, you will catch those small glimpses during the death animation. It's a frame for a brief moment, but you'll definitely notice how cool those can be as you're playing. Now, I do recommend an additional blood mod for a messier experience, as you don't have this splatter with Voxel Doom alone. The one I'm using here is called Droplets, which is very much worth checking out, but you have other options as well. As you can see though, both mods deliver just very cool aftermaths. In conclusion, recommended for sure. Not a gore mod in the classic sense of it, but it gives a new perspective on the game and if you are looking for a reason to revisit the game once again, well, here you have it. So hope you enjoyed this video, do let me know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe for more sponsor-related content coming your way soon. Until next time!